uh, we're looking at uh, obviously the F-16 uh, fighter offer that we made for India that um, uh, you will have seen us talking about over the last few months. But we're also looking at maritime helicopters. This is a combined civil and military show. We're looking at civilian helicopters, S-92, S-76, uh, and also a civilian fixed wing, light fixed wing for regional connectivity, the M-28 uh, aircraft that Sikorsky uh, builds for us. Uh, in addition to that, because this is a multi uh, service show. We have the Army here, we have the Navy here. So we're also talking about maritime systems such as Aegis, our littoral combat ship, and we're also talking about multiple missile systems. So Hellfire, Javelin being two examples uh, for the land forces during discussions with them. Uh, now the single engine fighter competition of the century is on <laughs> and you are one of the prime uh, contenders in the reckoning along with the Saab Gripen JAST-39. How do you rate the chances of the F-16 vis-a-vis -vis the JAST Gripen? So I would just start with saying the F-16 is the most proven combat effective uh, fighter aircraft in human history, right? So 4,580 plus aircraft have been ordered. Uh, we have 25 customers around the world flying that airplane today. It has more combat hours than any other aircraft on the planet. And, and the reason for that is because it's a remarkable airplane. And the aircraft that is on offer here in India, the F-16 Block 70, is the most technologically advanced F-16 we have ever offered to any customer ever. So we've taken technologies that exist today and that we've integrated onto our F-35 fifth generation aircraft and we're rolling those kinds of technologies back into the F-16. So what Lockheed Martin together with the United States government is offering to India is the most advanced F-16 in history. Tell me, generally the, uh, you know, the criticism for the F-16 is that it's almost at the end of its developmental cycle, vis-a-vis, -vis, let us say, the Saab, which is a, a comparatively newer aircraft. So how would you, uh, you know, respond to that uh, kind of... The, uh, the aircraft that we produce today uh, will go for 13,000 plus hours. The United States Air Force is extending the life of their F-16 fleet by another 30 years. And, and those are programs that are happening right now. I'm building new F-16s for customers today. I have five or six customers I am deep in conversations with around the world outside of India. This airplane will fly for 40 more years. And it's the most proven and most capable aircraft in its class. It goes further. If I look at my competition here in India, it goes further, it goes faster, it stays longer and it carries more combat munitions, period. But another aspect that is being, you know, discussed about in the media is Pakistan is one of the customers of this aircraft. Once we set the production line here in India and the United States has to make a sale to Pakistan, I mean, then what happens? So, so, 25 customers are flying F-16s today, right? It's a very successful aircraft. And, and, and there's more customers interested in the future, right? So setting the past behind us, what we're looking for is the future. And uh, I, I believe that uh, this is a unique opportunity in India's history to take hold of its future. And so um, uh, the opportunity that Lockheed Martin together with the U.S. government has offered here is unprecedented in terms of what it does for you.